Welcome back guys to the Hearthstone.fi Monday Night Community Tournament number 32 Grand Final with Vikir from Sweden versus Weasel from B Genius Esports in France. We welcome both players into our final event. They have taken the best of five conquest series thus far, placing them in the top two. Now the winner goes home with 50 euros and 10 her stone wall championship points well the second place finisher goes on with just five hwc points which is still pretty good we'll get the matches going i'll tell the players to get ready and start it what do you uh, expect to see from these matches Billy? well i think there is all of the decks are decent fast so i i don't think we are going to see so uh, like quite Grindy matchups. Only thing what I'm I'm fearing Weasel ha has the patron warrior. I don't know which of well, what what of these matchups would be the one he would want to pick it if it's not the first one. So I, I think he's 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 have to choose it first to give it a decent chance. With the Dex, what uh, his enemy is playing. Uh, big rare. He's playing it's basically Hunter, Warlock, and Shaman, and I don't think the ho Hunter or Shaman is any like it's not that good matchup. Yep, and you are absolutely correct. Weasel starts with the Patron Warrior, which is his strongest deck against this lineup of uh, heroes from Vikir. Uh, and this Hunter versus Patron Warrior might end up being a lopsided match, but if the hunter is able to put out enough early game pressure i still think that it has a chance because the burst potential from hunter decks is just ridiculously high and when you look at weasel's starting hand have you seen a worse starting hand for a patron warrior in ages i'm actually still loading the cards and i'm seeing the now oh man <laughs> yeah that, yeah that reaction was real I like that one. Yeah, that that waiting anticipation for like what what's gonna be in the hunter's hand, like oh yep. Yeah. But I I think like both of their hands are decently nice because the weasel has a lot of weapons. He can like in this kind of match if you want to have two weapons in your hand, you know, now you have three, so it's a little bit too much maybe. But you can have the board basically clean for four consistent. Uh, rounds and now we can see we care's hand and it's it's getting dry on the minions true true uh, despite the fact that you really don't want three weapons in your starting hand uh, just having one or two in this matchup means that the opposing hunter will not be able to utilize his glaive zooka effectively without charge minions and many other uh, situations which mean that those minions only get one hit to the face and that's it as Weasel, I actually think that he should uh, hero power this turn. Is the fact that when he plays Frothing or Acolyte on turn 3, he can then go for Death Spite on 4 without losing any charges from Fiery War Axe. If he were to have played it last turn, then he could only attack on turn 3 and nowhere else. Yeah. Uh, against that 3 2 Knife Juggler, though, this Fiery War Axe pretty much has to be played out. He'll still get the Dread Corsair out for 1 mana, so it's not that bad. And if the Dread Corsair goes into that Freezing Trap, it will be able to be played out for 1 mana again with the Dead Spite later on. Yeah, I, I think that's so much value to get like 1 mana 3 3 after you have cleared the board, and you know that it, either it's gonna be going for that. Uh, Frost, uh, freezing trap, or be attacked by Hoffer, but now the summon random Hoffer didn't work, so. <laughs> yep, actually, this is the explicit reason why the Corsair is in this deck. It's very, very good against aggressive decks. It's very, very good uh, at swinging the board in your favor when it comes to tempo. It's a free mana, uh, free zero mana card very often. Uh, so the attack, not being able to go through means that the dead spite is going to get played so you can make sure that there is no beast on the board left and just make sure that the hunter has to start over from an empty board as much as possible on five you could probably argue for echo out of pain into dread corsair and wow getting the second glaive zooka for big just it's just this is painful to watch you see a hunter which has as weak draws as big here right now has and it almost feels bad almost yeah, but like if if he would have even one of those uh, 
uh, the minions survive. So basically, there wouldn't be the Winax. So you could have so much damage coming out, and Warrior wouldn't have any answers. But now, when he has two weapons, and in these kind of matchups, I prefer to have two. Like, if I have starting hand with two weapons, I want Mulligan any of those because it's if it if it's not two dead spites, because that's so much more value for you, and you can buy time with that. But you can see he's now in 17, so it's a little bit scary, but I think still the, he's he, like now he did see no minions coming into in play with five mana, so you you must be feeling quite good. Yeah, definitely. That's got to be something of a, a relief for you. And going for the frothing berserker makes a lot of sense since there's double frothing in your hand right now, and you don't really need the draw that much. I don't think that he's going to be attacking with this, but this turn he's just going to wait it out, wait for there to be more targets, maybe a second frothing acolyte, maybe even the warsong commander, depending on the situation that you want to utilize that death by death rattle and then get a huge amount of cards with the battle rage. Uh, this is actually right now, uh, as uh, we expected in the beginning of the match, in favor of the patron warrior, but just a bit more clearly than it usually would be. And seeing that second freezing trap means that uh, Weasel will not be attacking, he will probably just drop down the emperor uh, and wait it out. There's no reason to give any more charges to the eagle horn bow. And you still want to hold on to your Frothing Berserker for more value. I think that playing anything other than the Emperor what is now? pretty useless. Yeah, you can get the Freezing Trap out with the smaller mana cost minion, but the combos from Warsong Acolyte was Frothing on turn 7 are just, is just absolutely ridiculous because you get the charge for the Acolyte of Pain to get that uh, Freezing Trap out anyway. And uh, Weasel uh, agrees with me and goes for that. Emperor value play. We're gonna see how many cards do you think that's gonna draw? One, two, three, four, five cards from Battle Rage next turn. Yeah. And that's gonna be like you can dump all of these cards from his hand to the table and you, you will get first like if you hit anything that comes to the table, you can basically play the play, play the acolyte. The like Warsing Commander Acolyte frothing then hit to the face most likely and those two frothings will be humongous and then you can basically take that freezing trap out with that acolyte but already draw your cards but well, first of course get some more cards with your battle rage and i think it's it's quite close to lethal uh, let's see how much is it it's one frothing berserker more one two three four five six targets if you go for the attack with the acolyte of pain to the face first uh, then you lose one target, but you could use your Thaurisan to kill off the Creeper, which would give two more Whirlwind targets. Oh, it's only 24. Oh, it's 24? 24. 24, yeah. Okay, what so even know? with six targets, is it still 24? Oh no, then it's 26, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but you've got two Frothing Berserkers, it would be 28, wouldn't it? No, no, I, I did count like. Uh, if I did count right, it should be 26 damage now. Because now, now you get these guys will be hitting for 10, I uh, don't know, 12 extra. And then you have uh, 15. The animations 20, are gonna take ages. Wow. Yeah, 25. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, it's, 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 Freezing. Yes. Yeah. Nine. Five. Battle range. Not quite enough, but five cards still. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was one off. Yeah. If he had gone for that attack with the one three uh, to the face first, then use your Emperor to clear out the Haunted Creeper, it still would not have been enough because of the fact that the Emperor's five damage would have sort of been wasted onto the Haunted Creeper. Yeah, you, you would get four damage off. Yeah. And then, but yeah, this play gives you <laughs> again Hunter is two two damage off from lethal, no three damage off from lethal. So, yep, Weasel's patron warrior takes the expected victory. Well, I don't, I don't know expected. I I think that matchup for Hunt is Hunter de like this matchup for face Hunter. So so. It's not expected, yeah. but if, if you pull it in first and the, your guy cannot, like... Because if you can pick out between 
uh, your warrior, uh, sorry, uh, warlock, shaman, and hunter. Against you know that he has basically the pattern. Like, oh yeah, the hunter is definitely yeah. the, the best option out yeah. of all those three. Yeah. But but with three weapons, that's that's so nuts. True. Uh, well, it's gonna make B geniuses weasels work a whole lot easier, since he now only needs two wins from those three decks, uh, for against those three decks. Uh, with his hunter, which we saw was the. A uh, fairly aggressive hybrid hunter and his handlock. He should have an okay situation against all of these options. The hunter mirror is pretty much a coin flip on who gets the better draws, and we're gonna go with that first. So I guess he wants to get that hunter mirror out of the way. If he's able to take this win and he's only got the handlock left, then I don't think Victor is down to chance. Not really, because getting three times bad draws for a handlock is very unlikely. Yeah, I, I think that Wicker needs to win this Hunter matchup. And he has a coin, so... That could help him, and if Weasel doesn't get decent mulligans uh, out of those two optional cards, no one drop, for instance, then uh, Wicker could be able to get this tempo swing in his Job favor. Done. Um, yep, nothing to play on turn one. Uh, Vikir could go for the coin two drop into Glaive Zuka on turn two. That would be the more aggressive play. Or if he's afraid of something that he has to trade into, would you drop that abusive sergeant on turn one and save the coin? No, uh, I would definitely coin out something because if he did watch the game before, he did see that this is a more like hybrid hunter, and he needs to get on the board with face. No, no, no both of them. Yeah, both of them are actually presidential pilot, pilot shredder. Yep. True. Hmm. But still, still, the mad scientist makes a lot of sense. It's it's got the glaive zuka target for it. Uh, yeah. It's got the more aggression. You force the opposing hunter to do the trades instead of yourself. I don't, I don't see there being any downsides to that. Uh, at two mana, at three mana, maybe, maybe an animal companion could spoil it, but you don't expect that from the opposing uh, hunter. Weasel can't play it until turn three, and by then you've already got uh, your three two on the board doing uh, damage, maybe forcing Weasel to use their two drop to do the trades. Mm, yep, glaze your cup. That's exactly what we expected to see. You could argue that using the Glaive Zuka and the Minion is actually yeah, yeah, a better yeah. call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is decent. There's uh, the animal companions, by the way. Yeah. If this is Misha, then Misha could be a bit of a problem. Leok, though, Leok is definitely low impact right now. Uh, you don't even need to put too much focus on him I think he'll be down to one you could go for abusive sergeant if he, this wasn't a freezing trap but of yeah. course Vicar knows it's gonna be a freezing trap so let's just pop it mm. hunter creeper and a vanilla to one abusive or no abusive no I, I think I, I think better way it's just hunter creeper and just let it there uh, because you can either go for eagle horn po po next turn or if if he in some odd reason trades for that i i don't know why maybe that misclick then you can trade it with your abuse certain, certain. but i wouldn't play that playing so around just, that misclick yeah. meta yeah yeah <laughs> but, but, yeah i understand why to play this because now he's basically saying that you have to have an answer for this kind of play or have more guys like Piloted Shredders coming out. So, yeah, kind of like okay play, but I, I prefer to just play that one and try to get more value out of your weapons. Yeah, later on and use the battle cry more effectively. I guess yeah. I get it. Both options are pretty good, pretty decent. This does provide you with more bodies to work with. Uh, Ooh, now, seeing nice. that knife juggler, um, would the juggles from the abusive sergeant actually have mattered? I don't think so. Uh, had he not played the abusive this turn, he could use the buff to go with the spider into the 5-3. So that would be different. Yeah. Playing the shredder to counter their shredder, I think that's fine. Uh, to kill off the Leoc with a 2-1 plus the weapon, it 
think that's pretty much a requirement right now. It's necessary yeah. to do that. Yeah, you, you need to hit that lean knockdown. Uh, it, it's tempting to go for trade the two guys for the Shredder, but it would still leave you so much more damage on the board that you just want to get Glaive Zuka and that Abyss of Surgeon for your lean. But like hitting that lean knock. Yep, and you're denying the beast from the yeah, hammer, which is yeah. always a good thing. And now the board doesn't look actually that bad for Showbicker. Yep, uh, his hand is a lot more mana intensive. Uh, he's got the 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, than you would normally expect or want in this situation. But considering Weasel, he's not better off either. Holding on to that Savannah plus the Arcane Golem, which you just do not want to play in this matchup, not too early. Uh, Turn 6 we're gonna see big impact from the Savannah, but before that Wikir might be able to stabilize the board. It's interesting to see how like, he hits now Shredder. This, if, if this is a... Yep, Ooh, it's a good call good. to play that oh. Knife Juggler first before the Mana Wraith. You might yeah, actually want to is... hold on to the Mana Wraith for now. Because that denies the Savannah Highman from being played. Yeah. But no, no, if he doesn't attack into the Mana Wraith with the Haunter Creeper and hope for those Jurgles to hit, then the Mana Wraith is just going to trade up into the Juggler. That, yeah, that's true. But I would actually... Well, yeah, no, no, anyway, that it's gonna die. Ooh, unleash the hounds. Unleash kill command is 8 damage. 8 plus 2 from the board. No, I was just thinking to run those, both of the hounds creepers for his hounds creeper, unleash the hounds, and then whatever comes out of that blood shredder, if it's need to be kill command, you can kill command, or if you can trade it off, you can trade it off. So you could go for that, but. Also, you can just. I, I would actually first hit 100 creeper for that blooded shredder, because that yeah. that would that would make sure that there's no really nasty mm -hmm. stuff coming out. That's true. You could see the two drop. I could also see a taunt minion, which would be a problem. So using one of those one twos to attack the face first would be okay. Face first, then do the trade, then yeah. see what comes yeah. out. Or if you're just really aggro, you can go all face. Because why not? Me very smart. Always works. But, like, I don't know, getting one extra damage versus he's gonna hit four? Well, may maybe, maybe only, like, well, no, he's gonna hit four. He could hit it only one with any kind of luck, so. Yeah, he would be hard pressed to trade for that Savannah high main if it were not a four one. Yeah. But with that four one, it's actually. Early high chance for. Oh, that's so nice, Juggle. Unfortunately for Bikir, though, he decides let's race, and we see that racing against Weasel right now is not a good idea. Arcane Golem, Glaivezuka, Hero Power, that's GG. 7 damage, yeah. 9 damage from the hand, and GG. Yeah, I think he was just counting like, like play low tap, he cannot make spells he needs, basically Arcane Golem. Plus, well, just Arcane Golem to kill me. So he just three cards, what are the odds to lose one single card? Yeah, uh, also uh, getting the chance to push for lethal next turn for Bikir was there. So this was the winning play, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. You did, don't want to start trading against that Savannah High main. So uh, a bit unlucky for Bikir. He made the right call in my opinion as well. Now the situation is very, very bleak for him. Uh, this is a really fast, like you, like you predicted, this is a really fast final game right now. It's uh, one of those situations where both players have brought a very, very strong lineup of three decks, which are fairly fast to play. Maybe not the handlock, but otherwise. Uh, and with the handlock, three turns against pretty aggressive decks. Like against Zulok, you're absolutely favored. Against Shaman, you're really favored. Against Hunter, well, the Hunter is actually slightly favored. So this match could still be easily taken by Bikir. But after that, there's two strong, strong chances for Weasel to just eke out the win, take out that final grand prize home, back to France and to his own home team of BGs. Um, yeah. When you go for that Sun Fury early on, it 
signals to the hunter player that he's really willing to sacrifice his taunt givers just to make sure that the early game aggression isn't gonna make it. Uh, would you trade uh, with the abusive sergeant to take up that some fury protector? No, never. I would, I would go for a face if, like. Oh, why he, why you buff that guy? I'm still. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. It's. Oh, well, he just yeah. wants to go go for that. Absolutely, keep the board clear of state. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, I think that the option to go for that really aggressive play of just all out to the face would have also been an option. Yeah, like what do you? What would he trade for? He would run that town like the counter for mad science so you lose two damage but with that you basically would still have that four damage to the face and you could play a animal companion when you would have three bodies over there so if you hit a lean up there would be tons of damage and opting not to use the second abusive sergeant right now so yeah. the plays are plays are a bit conservative they're not just going all out you would see weasel at 14 hit points, I think, right now. I think I've used all. No, 13 hit points. 13 hit yeah. points. Yeah. Well, basically 15 because the leprechaun should be alive still. So, but but yeah, it, it, it's interesting to see as he's trying to fight for the fourth present presence against a deck. What? You you will lose this race. If, like if you are trying to play a control with mid mid game run, a hunter against. Handlock, it's not that good. No, you're gonna lose that match pretty much yeah. all the time. Um, had he played the abusive sergeant one turn early, then Weasel would be able to play Molten Giant basically for free this turn. But yeah. as we see, the situation is such that he's pretty much forced to play the Sludge Belcher because the damage potential from a Hunter on turn six is 10 from the hand if it's double kill command, plus any minions that's on the board, and that's exactly yes. what we're against Weasel right now. Nope, Pile Shredder is not a kill command, but it's still quite effective. Pile Shredder Hero Power does present threats and push the lock down to range where he can get the Molten Giant for free if he taps. But tapping is always a risk. So Yeah. I think actually, like, I would... Mm, I wouldn't use the kill command. If you don't have that much pressure. I would actually... Maybe even you no, actually, I wouldn't even use the uh, Hounded Creeper, I would just pass, yeah. Because now you have so much answers in your hand that you can, whatever comes, you you have some some kind of pressure. Like, if you can trade now, like, decent, at least even decently well for Sludge Spell, so you can push for, so for lethal. And there isn't any taunts in Weasel's hand, so this is actually looking quite bad. Yeah, uh, like I said previously, the Sun Fury Protector being out means you don't get those 8 int Molten Giants. He hasn't top decked into another one, there's no Defender of Argus right now. Yeah, the Shadow Flame clears the board, it does do that. If you attack into the 4-3 first, but there's still 1-1s one -ones left on the board after that. Yeah. And those one ones, well, they are not beasts, but nope. if there's anything, what basically we have case or anything, that that's gonna be quite quite frustrating. Or even for weapon, just push out damage. Okay, quick shot kill command. This means that he actually wants to use that kill command even without a beast. The left course would have been better if it had been a beast, because then uh, you would get the maximum effort out of it, but. You want to cycle that quick shot this turn. Still yeah. six damage to the face. You cycle the quick shot. Uh, you're left with two mana. If it's another, if it's another quick shot, that's nine. It's still not lethal. No, but uh, you are pushing it really close. Yeah, that's true. And you've already seen one Molten Giant. So what are the odds that he's got the second one? There's no reset. Yeah. There's no uh, Jaraxxus yet. You're at thirty. I really think he needs to dump his hand, get that quick shot cycle going, try and get the lethal next turn. If nothing else, he can just steady shot, push it uh, up to eight. So the lock is left with four. Yeah, he can tap, but if he taps, he dies to just hero power with the taunt. So uh, yeah. basically, he can't tap. 
And what, what you can win if you just don't use anything. If you trade these two spiders for the one, two, I think it's fairly weak play. It is, it's a, because you're still stuck with those uh, spells in your hand. Yeah. And there's it's much less likely you'll be able to cycle the quick shot next turn. Yeah. You basically need an... Well, Haunt Creepers are done. You are not playing any one, mini, one mana beasts. Or, you know, web spins. Are these running web spins anymore? Some of them are, but most of them are not. It's definitely yeah. not a card you usually see. And the Hydlock is already at 10. So it doesn't really matter if you push down that 6 damage, because it's not going to get reset. The only thing that would really screw up your play then is uh, an antique heal bot, and that screws up your play anyway. Like, yeah. no matter what you do, it's going to be bad for you. So he just needs basically now to get a weapon or get a random hover. Yeah. And with the random hover... No, like you see now, with the knife juggler, he still won't be able to effectively cycle his hand for that quick shot to be effective. Put this apple on your head! Had he done so that old. last turn, he still would have the knife juggler this turn to play and whatever comes off the top of the deck. There's the Animal Companion. Yep, he would have had Knife Juggler plus Animal Companion and if he rolls a Huffer from that Animal Companion, it would have been lethal this turn already. That taunt... And I think if he is not getting Misha out of... No, but there is a taunt. I think this is actually Weasel's turning this around. Yep. Simply because Vikir did not Utilize. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. He, he did use the silence to... No, yeah, it, it, it is enough, yeah. It's not enough. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. No matter what he plays from the Animal Companion, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah. He should have cycled that hand when he had the chance. Yeah. So, 3 0 series! Wow! Congratulations to Weasel for taking it home to France. That's very impressive. Uh. That's probably one of the fastest finals we've had in quite a while. Less than 30 minutes. Actually, yeah. last week was pretty fast was, as well, wasn't it? Yeah, actually. Was it 3-0 three, three, or 3-1 three, last week also? So, and, and really as aggressive decks. But I, I think this is uh, quite fair uh, representatives of the meta at the moment. There's a lot of aggressive decks and there is not that much answers like re reliable answers for those aggro decks yep and the hunter player in that last matchup was definitely uh punished for his slight slight misplay so i think the better player here won we congratulate weasel from b genius we thank our uh enablers fraktio who are finnish web services company and i'll let you guys join us in one month so there is a small change to how we usually run these tournaments we usually do them every monday but since it's a lovely summer here in finland we're going uh to take a one month break and join you guys back in july so hope you've enjoyed our broadcasts uh you know how the system works if you liked it consider following thank you for watching have a great night